The mind is constantly asking the question, what next, what next? In other words, what's coming in next that I have to watch out for, and what next do I have to decide to do? We're living in this reality, which is based on the principle of origination. And even though there are things coming in from outside, the important things are the things that come, in, come up from within the mind. And it's a constant burden. Nirvana is the point where there is no more of that having to do, worry about what's next, what next. You've found the ultimate freedom, found the ultimate happiness, and it's not going to change. So nothing can threaten it. That's why the mind has a lot of peace. In the meantime, though, we have to keep answering that question, what next, what next, and try to give good answers. Figure out what are the things that are worth paying attention to when they come in, and what are the things worth paying attention to when they come up from within the mind. That's why appropriate attention is such an important factor. Learning how to ask the right questions, to be best prepared. It ties in with the principle of heedfulness, realizing that if you come up with the wrong questions, you're going to get the wrong answers. And if you act on the wrong answers, you can cause a lot of trouble. This is why we have to depend on mindfulness. To keep in mind what's the proper framework and what are the lessons we've learned over time that are applicable right now. Like when you're sitting here with your eyes closed, it's the lessons you've learned from your past meditations that can be brought to bear. Although sometimes you can bring to bear some insights you've gained from other skills that you've developed. If you're having trouble balancing your desire for the results, in a sense that too much desire is getting in the way. How did you balance those things when you learned a skill, a manual skill? I'm trying to think in those terms. We thought in terms of cause and effect. You focused on the causes. And if the effects weren't good, we went back and looked on the causes again. What, what could you change and what you did? Those are the kinds of things that are good to be mindful of. As for everything else right now, you can let it go. And you'd be surprised as you're tossing out all the extraneous stuff from your, your knapsack here. How much you really don't need as you're sitting here with your eyes closed. In terms of your thoughts about who you are, where you are in the world, you can throw those out. What's going to happen after the meditation? Throw those out. You can strip things down to the bare essentials. And the principle of appropriate attention is what helps you figure out what really is essential and what's not, what's going to be useful and what's not. It's like planning a camping trip. You want to take enough things so that you don't have to suffer from too much cold or too much heat or whatever, but you don't want to be so weighed down that you can't carry all your gear. So carry on what's just absolutely necessary. And that way you find you can lighten the burdens of the mind, even though there is still that question, what's next, what next, it kind of eats at the mind. Still, if you give it good answers, you don't feel quite so eaten up. And you actually feel nourished by the meditation, nourished by your practice.